what in the heck are all these? Hey guys, how you doing? Wow. Oh man, these look cool. Hey, remember on Friday's show I told you that I have a small sickness, otherwise known as a passion for Corvette, especially when it comes to Corvette memorabilia and Corvette diecast. More on these in just a moment. Welcome to our Sunday Coffee with Conti show. And I like to call it Coffee with Conti because the intention is to always to get this upload early for you guys, share what's going on in the community, and you go about your way. Well, last Sunday, that didn't happen. It was a long record. It was a long edit. It didn't even air until mid-afternoon, but many of you did catch that. There is a link down below in the description, and many of you actually came back and finished it up. It was a huge Corvette Q&A. Thanks again for the support, and thanks again for the participation. And because of that show and the great response, I'm going to change up my Tuesday show just a little bit. Get a fall on the coattails of a quick tip from Rick Theme, but make it more of a Tech Tuesday. You guys sending in your questions, troubleshoot, concerns, owner operation tips, that kind of stuff. We're going to help you with that, myself and our Corvette technician, every Tuesday. Now, we'll read as many as we can. I don't want that show on Tuesday to become what last Sunday was and be an hour long, but continue to send those in. There's an email address up on the screen, and also via that email, don't forget how we finish our Tuesday vlogs, and that's featuring your beautiful rides. So send in your rides, send in your tech questions. I look forward to seeing you guys on Tuesday. Make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss an upload and you hit the bell notification so you are notified, hopefully from YouTube, when we got some new stuff going on within the Corvette community. So you'll have an opportunity to win a couple of these today and they will be accompanied by a 2020 Corvette brochure. That coming up a little later in the show. Being that this is a C8 Sunday, I wanna share with you a conversation I had with a gentleman in Houston, Texas. He owns the best of the best in the C7 Corvette. That's the 2019 ZR1. And he owns a C8 Corvette that he got just a couple of months ago. So which one does he like better? You guys will hear that conversation in just a bit. And we also deliver a C8 Corvette without a car to deliver. How do we do that? And one more time, just a quick mention of last Sunday's video. A lot of great questions. I had to give the unfortunate answer of an order status to this gentleman here. And he had said that he never subscribes to any YouTube channels. Although on our Friday upload, Roger made a comment down below and he says, Rick, you got me. I'm a subscriber for the first and only YouTube channel, our channel. Welcome, Roger. Ah, it's great to have you here, man. And check your email because... I'm going to be sending you a 2020 Corvette brochure. Aww. Yeah, this is a little crazy, but it's also fun. I'll tell you how you have an opportunity to win one of these and the 2020 Corvette brochure in just a bit on today's show. So in typical YouTube fashion, when you get a new item in, what do they call that when they, when they open up? An unboxing? So let's unbox these die casts and take a uh, closer look at the mid-engine 2020 Corvette. <laughs> All right, it's an unboxing of the C8 mid-engine Corvette diecast. It's Christmas time for me right now, you guys. So when I went to Sam's Club to buy these, got there close to closing, ran right into the store, knew exactly where I was going, and the one lady looked down to my cart, checking the ticket. She goes, oh wow, she goes, those are really nice. She goes, my husband loves Corvette. She goes, do we, we have any more of those back there? And I said, well, not unless you got some more in the back because I bought everything you had on the shelf. <laughs> she looked at me like, that's not funny. <laughs> I thought it was. <laughs> Good luck to you. <laughs> but I'm amazed. The 118th scale, the amount of detail that are in these cars. Let me cut off the rubber bands that are holding the front closed. That's cool. That'll open up. The hatch will open up. And the doors will open up. And what's really neat on this for the detail, look at this, you guys. Oh, wow. Is that cool? There's even Corvette written on the calipers. Let's open up these doors. Let's see if this frunk opens. Yes, the frunk opens the way it's supposed to, the front trunk. <laughs> and the hatch. Yeah, that's pretty cool too. Look inside that engine. How about that? A little bit of detail there. And my eyes are really, really bad. Can you guys see that? It looks like they attempted, yeah, I think it is, Corvette written on the side of the engine cover and it has the Corvette emblem at the top of the engine cover. Really nice detail there. And if you look inside, the steering wheel, proper shape. They even have little icons on the infotainment system. 
Looks like they got little dots there for what are gonna be the buttons down the air conditioning controls. And uh, these are the GT2 seats. Yeah, way to go. Oh my gosh, fantastic detail. Corvette written on the back. We have the Stingray emblem on the back of the hatch. And then of course the Corvette emblem in the front. And this is obviously a Z51 because of the spoiler and the front splitter. Nice job, beautiful detail. What a great value and what a lot of fun. All right, let's check out the yellow one. Now, just as a comparison, this does have that shock yellow look. I've not yet to see Accelerate Yellow in person. Um, let me, as a comparable, now here's a previous yellow die cast, and there's the C8. You can see the different, you can see big time differences. It almost looks a little green on the screen. My son Ryan said, hey, what's the green one? I said, no, that's that's the bright yellow. No, that's green, Dad. Well, that's the old yellow in the C7 Corvette die cast, and that is what is being represented as the Accelerate Yellow. I think it's a little bit lighter. It is a little bit more yellow in the actual car, but this still looks cool. And just so you guys know, I know today is a C8 Sunday, but I've got some great C7 delivery clips yet to share on the channel. Some wonderful people I had an opportunity to meet. I can't wait to, to bring those to the channel and share that with you guys. We've not forgotten, we'll never forget about C7. What an incredible car, incredible value. But this is our future, this C8 thing. So kind of starting all over again with the relaunch and the deliveries of these cars and nice to see some stuff like this coming out. In fact, this size right here is a 143rd scale. And there is, look at this. Uh-huh, yeah, baby. Rapid blue. Whew. Love that thing, oh my gosh. And it's made by the same company that makes these and I don't know where they're selling those yet, but when I find out, <laughs> I'll buy them all. <laughs> that I can anyways. All right, let's open this one up. But beautiful detail on this yellow with the stripes. Now the orange one I mentioned that's coming to Costco's, it'll have the stripes as well. Also will be a Z51 and there is a shadow gray one uh, that is coming as well uh, to Costco's. Now the orange will be exclusive to Costco's for a short time, just like the yellow is exclusive to Sam's for a short time. But I mean, look at the, look at the great detail. I mean, these mirrors just fine detail. This is a 118th version of the actual car. So blow this up and 18 times and it's the full size car. GT2 seats in this as well. No, wait a minute. I apologize. Is it? Okay. Yeah, it is. It is GT2 seats. I had to turn it at an angle so I could say, yeah, GT2 seats in this thing. Uh, just fun, fun car. Uh, great authentic wheels on this thing. The rims are just authentic with the open spoke. Oh man, pretty neat. I can't wait for the other ones to finally hit the marketplace. And of course, ultimately, I just, I can't wait for the actual cars to start coming to be and sharing more feedback from more C8 owners. So those of you that are on the bubble trying to decide if you're going to embrace this mid-engine thing, uh, I want you to hear from the customers, not just me because I sell the car. I want you to hear from the customers and it'll give you a good opinion on what's going on. It is a different car, but regardless, this is our future. The more you see it, more people are starting to, to embrace it, uh, yet seeing one in person is gonna be key. I'm gonna have a couple of cars, that, like I said, on Friday that'll be here any day. Hopefully in this vlog, we were able to share with you those coming off the truck, and we're gonna do a detailed video of the Zeus Bronze. A lot of people curious about the Zeus Bronze, and I'll give you my opinion in that vlog as we do a walk around what interior I think goes best with the Zeus Bronze, all right? So hope you enjoyed our unboxing of the C8 mid-engine Corvette. Hang on just a second, I think, yeah, I think I hear something. Um. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, you know what? If you've ever talked to anybody that worked in a railroad, they could put their ear on the rail and they could tell you if a train was coming, even if it was a hundred miles away. Yes, yes. What's a C8 Sunday without the arrival of C8 Corvettes. Aha, I told you. It's almost like when you were a kid and you talked to the old guy across the street and he says, hey, you know what, Ricky? You see those leaves and how you see the back of the leaves blowing around? That means it's gonna rain today. Yep, that's right, it's gonna rain today. And he was always right, just like. <laughs> yeah, welcome home, baby.
hanging on to this clip. Thanks to our Corvette family member, Carl. Cue the dancing dogs. Z8 Corvettes are finally arriving again. All right, yeah, it's still raining, but one more time, here's the Elkhart Lake Blue for Ernie. Zeus Bronze, and it will have the pewter wheels added. Uh, more on this later this week. We're going to do a whole vlog just on this car, giving you my personal opinion, what I think is the best interior with the Zeus Bronze. And here is the canceled, what will soon to be canceled, Blade Silver for Chuck, our past customer here in Ohio. All right, it's really starting to come down. Time to go in and finish up today's show. It is a C8 Sunday of coffee with Conti. Thanks for joining us. Hey, for me, sharing with you guys on a vlog, the opportunity I have to talk to my existing customers is always a thrill. Ben's on the phone from Houston, Texas. Ben, nice to talk to you, man. Yeah, good to talk to you, Rick. Hey, and for those of you that haven't seen on the channel, I uh, got an opportunity to hook up with Ben through, uh, you always seem to pick those cars that are like long processes. I don't know what it is. <laughs> he bought a new ZR1, did a museum delivery, and it was great that I was able to go down and, and be a part of that delivery with you in that gorgeous shadow gray ZR1, uh, which you still have, don't you? Oh, absolutely. That's one of my favorite cars. And then he oh, says, really "Hey, fun. I want to, I want to order a C8, and it's almost another freaking year before you get that." I know, right? Oh my God, dude, just crazy. I mean, who would have thought any came, of this? It came at the like the worst time, though. You know, right when all this COVID, you know. Yeah, yeah car, I know. So it's kind of. I was just happy to get your car. I was just to to, I know. to actually say, "Hey, you actually have a car that's coming and it's here." You know, rather than many of the conversations that I'm having right now. And I know that you're extremely busy with what you do. So thankfully for that, right. you're. I mean, you're jamming and and, and keeping right. the economy going and keeping yourself and your family going. But um, have you had a chance to? Because I, I know you and your buddy Stephen that has been on our channel from LMR intended to come up here and you couldn't uh, so we shipped the cars down to you have you had a chance to even drive the darn thing yet <laughs> oh yeah i've got I've, I've actually got some miles on it finally good and i tell you what it's, it's i like it but uh yeah the only thing i've really done to it like i said is do the uh, i've done the exhaust in the car you know change out the exhaust is that the one that uh, steven designed at lmr yeah. he did okay yeah, it's, it's all bolt on and, uh, it's great sounds sounds awesome it's, it's perfect i love the way it sounds no kidding so you're you're the perfect guy to talk to uh, to get your feedback, what you think of the C8. Um, before I ask you the million dollar question, um, as far as drivability, I mean, what are the things that you like about driving that car compared to uh, what you what you've had in the past? Man, it's just almost like a completely different car. You know, it's you know I like driving it. It handles great. Yeah. You know, it just drives fantastic. You know, like the only thing, you know, I'm just not used to a rear engine, you know? Yeah. I just, I am just hooked on my ZR1. My 19 ZR1 is just the ultimate sports car for, you yeah. know, ultimate Corvette, you know? The yeah. last of the last. And it's just, uh, in, in my mind, I would rather have that car than my C8. I mean, it's... It's awesome. I love yeah. this ZR1. Yeah, you, you stole my next question from me. <laughs> yeah, maybe. But no, maybe. I mean, that's good, though. But people want to know that. If you still have a ZR1, which yeah. really is the, the pinnacle of C7, and now you've got the C8. Which, hey, d d Ben, tell us what you like better. And, and you kind of kind of right. spilled the beans already, man. Um, yeah, tell us some more. I mean, what what are the big differences between these two cars? I mean, what is it you like better about the ZR1? The horsepower. The horsepower. The okay. Just just the car itself the way it looks you yeah. know it just looks like just a crazy you know it just it's just an awesome car i don't know yeah you know, 
what I can say more about the ZR1. But, you know, C8 is beautiful. It's a beautiful car. And yes. I'm hoping when they come out with the Z06 or even ZR1, mm-hmm. you know, it, it, of course it's the first year. That's, you know. Well, the, C8, so. the, the standard car, I was impressed for the very short duration I've driven the car for uh, the responsiveness from the DCT, uh, the torque, and the horsepower for that yeah, car. Yeah. That's that's a lot, you know, for that entry level car. It's like, oh my gosh, you know, four ninety five horse. N- obviously, nothing compared to the seven fifty five that you have. But uh, do, let me ask you this: Do you take the C eight out back behind your shop and do donuts like you do in the ZR? Not yet. I haven't. Not yet. <laughs> oh, you are crazy. I just haven't done it. It's it's just I haven't, you know. Well, it, know. it's something. It's something to get used to. It's it, it is a whole new uh, driving style in this in this new car. You know, so make sure that you take your course with uh, Spring Mountain for your C8 because oh, yeah. you, you know, love and performance and taking it even higher than what you get off the shelf uh, will definitely benefit you uh, driving yeah. out there with those guys in Nevada. Yeah, because yeah, the Spring Mountain with the Zero One, that was an awesome class. Yeah. So I could just imagine the C8 one would even be awesome too. So. Oh, fantastic. Now, in regards to C8, is there any one particular thing that stands out that you really like about that car? Oh, that- I love the interior. I love the interior. I love the leg room. I okay. Mean, it's, I'm not tall, but still, you got plenty of leg room. Yeah. You know, the one thing I, the, I can tell you, the one thing I really hate about the C8, but we had a box the other day. We were taking over to my daughter's house. Had a bunch of stuff in it. Yep. And I couldn't fit it in the front trunk. I couldn't fit it in the back <sighs> trunk. My wife had to carry it on her lap. Ah. Uh. So, you know, on the Zero One, you just throw it in the back. You got plenty of room. Yep. That was, that, that's the thing got me on the C8. But, you know, the other day, but, you know, the, I guess that's what you get with that car, you know? Right. But, no, you're not the first one to mention that. The interior is fabulous. I love the interior. Yeah, that's you great. Because I did the red with the two tone, and you were right on the, the, the I guess it was a level, uh, level two interior, you know? Yes. Yeah. Well, you did the, yeah. um, I think you did the well, GT2 seats. That's what you're talking yeah, GT2 about. Seats, yeah, GT2 yes. seats. And those are those are awesome. I love those seats. They are just unbelievable. Well, don't they feel similar to your competition seat in the in the ZR1? Yeah, they, they're almost the same, you know. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And you, you kept telling me to buy the uh, get the uh, GT2 seats, and that's what we did. So. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad you guys listened to that. I just I don't know. I'm not not to dog the comp seat in the C8. I just feel in my heart that that was going to be a, a more versatile seat for performance driving and for cruising. That competition seat has got that high rise on the bottom part of the seat, and it's so freaking hard that it just for longer trips, it just it'll really crampy on your thigh. And there's some guys that just, they'll be in sitting on top of that based on their size, and that's just not a good situation. It really isn't. Yeah, you really. get the thumbs up everywhere in that car, though, in the C8, I mean. Yeah. Everybody stops. I mean, every it just turns a head turning car. You know what I like you did to your car already? I know I know you did the exhaust, but you did what a lot of guys are finally starting to do and you customized your engine cover, painted it yes. the red to match the outside of the car. Yep. That and looks painted, yeah. Yeah. And painted the, the the Corvette flags and everything. Yeah. That looks and good, actually, dude. The only other thing I did, I did uh on the wheels cuz I went with the base wheels, you know, the the black, but they had the machine lip. Yes. And we've, uh, I've done one side, I've actually got vinyl on the, the lip right now, red vinyl. Oh. To see how that looks. I'm going to have that lip painted red, though. Oh, that'll look nice. Dude, as always, thanks just for your friendship and your and your support. Uh, you, you've you just been awesome, and uh, I, I love hearing your experiences, and I just, I love being a part of them, man. So thanks again for everything. I, I appreciate everything, and just the... You know, when I ever tell anybody that, you know, says, oh, I heard this about the Corvette, I heard about this, you know, I said, well, if I haven't heard it for Rick, and <laughs> it's not, it's not true, you know, there's so <laughs> many rumors out there, and so much BS, and that's yeah. why I think when I got my C8, I had never even seen a C8 before I got my car, wow. didn't even go see one, and just everything you said, you know, when you say something, you, it's a fact, you know, it's not all these rumors, and that's what I love, you know. Thanks, I man. got some people every, you know, join, you know, on YouTube or whatever, you follow you and it's just, you know, whatever you say seems to be exactly, you know, and that's what I like. It's, you keep always say, wait, 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 and, or, you know, this is what's happening and everything you say is, is the truth, you know, and like so much other stuff you see out there is not, you know, it's just all gossip. And, yeah. <laughs> you know? 
Well, you know, you know me. I got a different stake in the game. Yeah, I want to sell cars and do business, but I'm not doing YouTube videos just to make videos. Yeah, I'm doing them to connect with you guys and, right. and and thankful to guys like you that are in Houston buying for me in Columbus, Ohio. I mean, you know, it's just you you've got to make that extra effort, man. And it's and it's it's cool for me to be a part of it. So I mean, why wouldn't you just tell it like it is and have a better business relationship in that regard? That's the way I look at it. All right, exactly. That's what I love. It's so easy to deal with you buying up there. Thanks, dude. I appreciate that, yeah, man. I appreciate it. You are awesome. This is where I come when I get off work and don't want to deal with the world anymore. This is my happy place. Just come out here, work on some cars, or just, just hide. This is my best place to be. As we were talking, this was the red that I've done on this wheel. See how that looks. And then we go to the other side. I haven't done this side yet. I just kind of ran out of time lately. So. But I tell you what, this is the car I like the best out of all of them. Sure, I love this car, but this car is just a beast. Oh yeah, always nice talking to Ben. Glad we have the opportunity to share that conversation with you guys. And how about that? What does he like better? The C8 Corvette that he loves or his C7 ZR1? He likes the ZR1 better. And you know, thinking about that, we had an opportunity on this channel to interview Jim Miro the ride and handling engineer just before we retired. Uh, I, I think we need to re-air that interview. And I forgot too that I actually have autographed posters of the ZR1 from Jim. So yeah, that'll be coming up in a future upload right here. And also too, we were talking about Steven from LMR at Late Model Racecraft. We'll dedicate one entire vlog for him. He's doing some amazing things right now as we speak, altering and improving and just kicking ass with the C8 mid-engine Corvette. Right, you guys, I like to share any and all experiences I can when it comes to buying this car. It is just it's so cool for me, really, after all this time, 25 years to be a part of this, especially right now, for the historic mid-engine Corvette. And actually, I'm, I'm thankful to tell somebody, finally, hey, you actually have a car coming. Here's Tom from Ohio. <laughs> How you doing, man? Hi. Good to see you, man. Thank, Thank you. You were here. You're like a lot of guys. You've waited almost a year almost a year for I your car was, yeah last august that i started this process yeah and you came to our store where we had the uh had the c8 here for the dealer tour getting mm -hmm. people adequated with the car and i know you're excited we're able to get your order in and then everything just went stop it's <laughs> yes. just crazy you know it's funny a lot of you guys out there when you you know when you turn 50 everything changes man i went through that a long time ago and it's just neat to see that your reward is finally coming true you're this close. And he's like, this close. he's like, Rick, what are you getting all excited for? He goes, all I <laughs> goes, all I did was come in here and pay for my car, just trying to be ahead of the process before the car actually gets here. So yeah, he paid for the car. The car's not even here yet. A lot of not guys yet. have done that. I appreciate that. Trying to secure these cars with the with the unsettled craziness and availability in the marketplace. Things are happening to these cars. Some things have been canceled and, and we've got brokers offering us over over sticker. Tom says, hey. I'm coming down, I'm paying for that. That's my car, all right, absolutely. So we'll get those situations that a car may come available. And if you wanna see what comes available, go to my Instagram page, Rick Corvette Conti. The last one that happened to come available, which is unfortunate, put it up there, sold in 30 seconds. 45 phone calls happened about eight minutes afterwards. So it gives you an idea, like we always told you, you want to know what the pulse of this marketplace is right now? Uh, that gives you a pretty good snapshot. So yours should be coming soon. 
I'm excited for you. So here is a 2020 excited. brochure Thank that you, you can keep underneath there. And then this, you could go ahead and keep this oh, underneath wow. the pillow too, wow. man. Wow. Yeah. That's really cool. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, and that's your car, man. <laughs> oh, you're the first one I gave one of those to. Look at that. Yeah, there it is, man. Wow. Yeah. That's special. That's why I've been running around to the Sam's Clubs all over Columbus here the last couple of days. I ran in literally about three minutes from close, and they're like, oh, no, we're about ready to close. And I said, oh, no, I know exactly where I'm going. Get out of my way. I'm going in here right now. Shopper got it in. Bam. I bought them all. <laughs> Congratulations, though. Thank, Thank you. you. And we'll actually share more of your story uh, when you get the car, get your reaction actually seeing the car, which will be probably similar to what it was when you saw that because that, that's a representation of your car, man. That's awesome. But thanks for the business and thanks for just hanging in there and understanding through all this. No, right? I appreciate it. It's been, uh, it's been a long uh, yeah. process, but yeah, it's exciting. Yeah, it's a great reward for you too, man. I can see that you're proud. You worked hard for this. You've been planning for this, man. Mm -hmm. This is cool. Like so that. hold that hold that model up just for a second and we'll just, uh, we'll, get, we'll give the model just a little send off pat. Congratulations <laughs> to Tom in Ohio. <laughs> All right, did you guys have fun today? I hope you enjoyed the conversation. I love sharing anything and everything regarding Corvette on this channel. It's great to have you here. Thanks again for joining us for this Coffee with Conti show. Now, if you are a subscriber, you have an opportunity to win one of three that we're gonna give away today of these 118th scale die cast along with a 2020 C8 Minigen Corvette brochure. If you're the first prize winner, you'll have an opportunity to choose either the yellow or the red. Number two and number three, you're gonna pick the red. So here's how you enter. You need to go to my Instagram page, Rick Corvette Conti, and tell me the name of the most recent Corvette that I sold. You'll put his name down below in the comments, and from the correct answers, we'll do a random draw, and I'll announce the winner on Tuesday. Have a great weekend. Good luck to everybody. I'll see you on Tuesday. Thanks again for your support. Thank you.